equivalent EMF and equivalent internal resistance. When two cells of different EMF the board is blurred, sir. Two cells of different EMF. E1 and E2 and internal resistance R1 and R2 are connected in parallel. So when two cells their EMF are different. Maybe one cell is 1.5 volt, other cell is of 2 volt. Internal resistance 1 ohm, 2 ohm, like that only. This circuit we have seen. One was having 2 volt, other was having 6 volt. So then what will be the equivalent EMF and equivalent internal resistance? That we have to derive the equation, we have the relation for this using Kirchhoff's law. So suppose the cells are so this is E1 internal resistance R1, E2 internal resistance R2, and external resistance is R. This may be this way or sometimes it is like this also, no problem. So this is E1 R1, E2 R2, and this is external resistance. No problem. Both circuits are same. So don't be confused. We have considered this way. Now in the question paper, it is given this way. Now we'll use Kirchhoff's law to find this equivalent EMF of this one. That is in place of this, if we are considering only one cell having EMF E and internal resistance R, then what will be the value of this E and R? So value of E and R we have to find in terms of this E1, E2, R1, R2. So suppose here, I1 current is drawn from this source, I2 current is drawn from this source, and I1 plus I2, which is IE, is drawn from this source. Okay, now we'll write this. For closed loop, A, B, E, F, A. What is the equation? You are free, you can take this whole loop, this loop, no problem. Any two loop, different loop, you can consider. So, what is the equation for this? 
A to B. No potential difference. B to E. What will be? B to E. Anyone? E to minus. I yes. E what to minus. E to minus. E to minus. I to I R two. I two R two. R two. E two minus I two R two. Okay, very good. E two F zero. F two A. Is it? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So we got this equation. Okay, I one R one. We are interested to find the value of this I, no? Because this I will be what? I is e by R plus R. So we will compare. What is the I from here? And what is from this equation? Then we'll compare it. We'll find the value of E and R. So, suppose one we will remove. I one R one. Okay, afterwards we'll add no problem. I one R one minus I two R two equal to E one minus E two. That is one equation. Now come to this loop. Or better, we'll change this one. No problem. So what will be this? I one R one minus I minus R one. I minus I one. But main purpose is to find the value of this i. So one will be variable we keep i, other we can keep i one or i two. Now for this one, what will be? We we'll start from here. So i one plus i two into r. Okay, for those loop. B C D E B. I one plus I two into R. Now this one. Is it correct? Yes, sir. So this is I one plus I two will write I. This is I minus I one. Right here we have taken I one and I. Now we are interested to find this I. Who is this fellow? Sakshi Sinha was inside. Then how it went outside? We have to remove this I one. So how will you remove? Sir. Hmm. It will be capital R minus I R two now. I R two only no. Yes sir. Correct. This one. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. So this is second equation. Now we have to remove this I one. So what will you do?
to remove this I1. <coughs> this one will be multiplied by, okay, here is. This one will multiply by R2, and this one will multiply by R1 plus R2. So I1, R2, R1 plus R2 minus I here. We have multiplied by R2. I R2 squared is equal to E1 minus E2 R2. And this one we are multiplying by R1 plus R2, no? Yes, correct. This one we have multiplied by R1 plus R2. No. This one we have multiplied by yeah, R1 plus R2. No? Hmm. This one we have multiplied by R2. Is it correct? This one we have multiplied by R2 and this one we have multiplied by R1 plus R2. No, no, mistake. Yeah, yeah, correct. This is plus. Plus I, R plus R2, R1 plus R2. Minus, yeah, correct. Now we'll add these. So this is cancel. What is left now? If we take I common, then what is that? R plus R2. R1 plus R2. Minus R2 squared. Equal to. E1 R2 minus E2 R2 plus E2 R1 plus E2 R2. So this I is E1 R2 plus E2 R1 by this much. What is this? R R1 plus R R2 minus R1 R2 plus R2 square minus R2 square. So this is cancel. So we plus on you So we got in this form.
so if we compare this equation by standard equation so for equivalent what will be for equivalent soil this i will be equal to e by r plus r where e is the equivalent emf r is the equivalent resistance so what we are getting this is our e so comparing the two equation so equivalent emf this e will be e1 r2 plus e2 r1 by r1 plus r2 and this internal resistance will be r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 so we have to keep in mind this formula if two cells are there in the circuit try to use this formula now come to the same circuit what was given to you and we will see or we will verify whether we have got the correct answer or not or how we can solve the same problem which was given without writing the loop equation So our final equation, we sorry, circuit was this is two volt one ohm. This was the circuit, six volt one ohm. This one was two ohm, five ohm, and two. Ohm. This was the circuit. original one yes sir yes now what we will do we will this resistance we will add in its internal resistance that is we will write a 2 volt 3 ohm what is another one we will write a 6 volt and 3 ohm and this is resistance r 5 this is the circuit we change this in this part this may be in middle or here no problem so what will be our i current without solving without doing that we can use in one step only what will be that e1 r2 that is Two into three plus e two r one six into three by r one plus r two three plus three six by external resistance r that is five plus equivalent parallel equivalent of this three into three by three plus three. What is coming? Eighteen six twenty four by six four six point five forty over sixty five five eight ja five thirteen ja eight by thirteen ampere. So without using that rule. in one step only we can solve this type of problem understood if not especially mentioned in the question paper apply kirchhoff's law and find the current passing through 5 ohm you are free you can change this circuit into this and 
give the solution in one step only. But sometimes it is mentioned in the question paper, like in ISC. Solve this, find the current using Kirchhoff's law. That means you are supposed to write the equation, what we have discussed. Previous one in that way you have to do. Okay. <clears throat> Now, what will be that? Terminal voltage you can also find. What will be the current we can find like that? <clears throat> so, in find, for finding this terminal voltage, what will be potential difference from here to here, here to here, and here to here is set. So, terminal voltage means what? Here we have to consider 1 ohm and then what by that added one 2 ohm. Here again 1 ohm and what was added 2 ohm. So what is potential difference from here to here that you have to find. Potential difference across 5 ohm what will be? 8 by 13 is the current into 5. 40 over 30. Now, if you are interested to find what is the terminal voltage across 6 volt, then what will be? As we know, if we learn what to find the current, this I1, what will come? <coughs> So this, if we move from here, 6 minus 1 into I1 minus 2 into I1 will be equal to 40 over 30. So I1 we can find. Minus 1 by 13. No. Wrong. How many will come? Thirteen six jars. 28. 28 minus 14. 38 by 13. So I1 will be 38 over 39 ampere. Which we have got previous one also. Now, what is the terminal voltage? Six volt will become six minus thirty-eight into thirty-nine into one. That way. If we are asked here, then we have to find I2. <coughs> so I minus I1 you can find, and then same way you can find that potential difference terminal voltage across 6 volt, 2 volt. So I have this like this. So this 2 minus I minus I1 into 1. I we have got, I1 we have got. You can find this. Or separately you can apply the voltage, potential difference, so then you find. So these are the different ways by which you can solve this type of problem.
Now we solve one more problem related to one source. If only one source is there, then what are the different ways by which we can solve the problem? Oh, who is joining? Or oh, what about Anmol? You went out what? For what? Now suppose you are asked find current passing through the ohm connected between C and Potential difference between D and E. Okay, so for these are this is the case. <clears throat> so what will be? Well, how will you solve this problem? One is by using Kirchhoff's law. Okay. So current is starting from here. Maybe suppose I now or I1 we have taken suppose this. Okay, I1 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 this way. Naturally, I minus I1 this way. Now from here, I1 I this. Suppose I2 I come this way. Naturally, I1 minus I2 will be this way. Same I2 is coming this side. So you are asked this I1 minus I2 and then potential difference between D and E. So how many variables are there? I, I1, I2. Three variables are there. Three loops are there, okay. You can apply Kirchhoff's law. We can write the what is the equation of this loop, what is the equation of this loop, what is the equation of this loop. That is one way you can try. Now we will find other way by series parallel combination. If it is only one source, then try to find by that way. That will be easier. This type of simple circuit will be given so that easily you can find the equivalent resistance. That will be given. So suppose here, what is that? 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6. They are in series. Same current is passing, so I2 here, this will be also I2, this will be I2. Now from this side I2, this side I1 minus I2. So here will become I1. Here I minus I1 and I1, so it will become I. So our branching of current is correct. Whatever current I started, same current will enter into this. So one way by using, if you are not understanding, Apply that pitch of slow. Now what will be by using series parallel? These three are in series. Six. This six and this two. In parallel, what is equivalent? Yes. This first time you will get it. 3 by 2. Yes? 3 by 2. 3 by 2. How much? 
थ्री बाई टू नॉट गेटिंग हाउ मच इट इज थ्री बाई टू थ्री बाई टू रेजिस्टेंस गिवन द बोर्ड सर एंड यू टोल्ड Sir, what you are telling, sir, according to that we are working out. Okay, okay. Right. So, my mistake, Malli. So this is two, two, two. Here, all these boundary two, and these two are three. So you are asked current passing through three O connected between C and F. So this one. So this is two O. Now this two, this two, and this two, because this equivalent comes to. Now this is six, six and three again in parallel, so two. Now this two, this is one, this is two. So finally, what is that? We can say it is like this. So this was six. This was three. This is one, and this is two. This is part B and D. But this is not C and F. You got C and F. At least three ohm is there, but we have connected six. So this is between B and G like this. This side. So, what is the equivalent external resistance? This is two, two and one. Five ohm are in series, so this one will become five ohm. What is this main current? One ampere. Dot. So this current is one ampere. Understood? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Now here we will find what is the divided this current. How do you divide it? Because one ampere current is coming up to here. After that, some current will go this way. Some current will come this way. So what is the value of this? I one, and what is the value of this I minus I one? How will you find? What is the potential difference? One into two, that is two volt. Cut. Well, that is two. Main current is this one. So, what is this I one? One by three ampere. So, this current is one by three ampere. Here is two by three ampere. This is not asked. You are asked here. Now again, same way, branching off current will take place. So now what is happening? This is again three. This is again six, and one by three ampere is coming. Are we divided?
how the current will be divided what is potential difference here again One by three into two, so two by three volt. What is this I two? Two by three over six. One by nine ampere is coming this way. How much here? One by three minus one by nine. So two by nine ampere current will pass through this resistance. One by nine ampere current is passing through this part. Did you get? So the charge distribution. Can you tell? Yes. 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 Charge distribution. Can you tell me once more? Charge distribution. Current distribution is here. Current. So the upper so one. From here, from this one, current is starting. So one ampere current has started from here. Out of this one ampere, one by three ampere has gone this side. Two by three ampere has come this side. Now this one by three ampere will further be divided. As this side resistance is six, this side is two. So in one is to two ratio, it will be divided. From that also, you can find the current distribution. So from one by three, it will go one by nine this side, and two by three come this side. Two by nine this side. So answer will be two by nine. Current passing through this three ohm will be two by nine. What is potential difference between D and E? What will come? So this is I two into two. So one by nine into two. That is two by nine volt. so when we use when we practice this way it will come less time we will write three equation find i1 i2 i3 and then after that whatever is asked you will find so it will take little more time so we will prefer this one only now one more formula which is which we can frequently use Is the branching of current without finding the potential difference? How will you find what will be the division of current? Suppose this main current is I. If it is divided into two parts. This I one, this is I two. This is R one, this is R two. So we are knowing what is the potential difference. So this potential difference between A and B. This can be I one R one. It can be I two R two, or it can be I R one R two by R one plus R two. So 
So if we use this and this, we can find I1 without finding the value of potential difference. Directly we can use this relation. So this I1 will be what? If we use this and this, R1 cancel. So this is I R2 by R1 plus R2. And this I2 will be I R1 by R1 plus R2. Here R2 is cancelled. So this also you can use in this place. So what was that? One ampere main was coming. And here it is 3 ohm and this side was 6 ohm. Suppose this is R2, we are interested to find. What will be? R2 is I R1, that is 1 into 3, by R1 plus R2, that is 9. So 1 by 3 ampere. So 1 by 3 ampere this side, 2 by 3 ampere this side. Without using potential difference, finding potential difference, directly we can use this formula also. So if main current is known, how the branching will take place in between two resistors only. This is valid for two resistors. More than two, not be not there. More than two, then you will have to find potential difference between these two, I into equivalent resistance. Then that potential difference but divide by this resistance current passing through this, potential difference divided by this resistance, current passing through this. Any third is there, the potential difference will be same, divided by this resistance. So more than two, then the original method will find potential difference and then divide by resistance. Understood? So till here we you revise whatever we have done yes, and sir. solve the problems given your book. One source, two source. If circuit is complicated, apply Kirchhoff's law. Now use of this Kirchhoff's law in Wheatstone bridge and meter bridge that we'll discuss next day. Or shall we continue? No, sir, leave, sir, till Thank here. No, oh, sir, it's okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Already, Already we are out of time, sir. Yes, Already we are out of time. Solve something. Overloaded, okay, no problem. But you revise whatever we have done. Yes. Whatever you we are done, also getting uh, into a complicated after. circuit, sir. Huh? We are also <laughs> getting into a complicated circuit. On us okay. also, Kirchhoff's law will be applied. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, solve and that next day you are asked. Okay, sir.